guys? Stu here. Look at this steady flow of content. Don't get caught in the stream. You might drown, Timmy. You might drown. But next up from the festival, I saw The Old Man and the Gun, which is a new film from David Lowry. Who you might know as the director of films like Ghost Story, as I like to call it, Rooney, stop eating that pie. You're gonna get indigestion. Or before that, he did the live action version of Pete's Dragon. So pretty, pretty much the same film there, he just did the same film twice, unbelievable. Sarcasm obviously, one was a, a horribly depressing existential look at life, and, uh, and the other was Ghost Story. I don't even know why I made that joke, I haven't even seen Pete's Dragon, it could be great. And I love Ghost Story. But anyway, this one's set in the 80s and it tells the story of an old man and a gun. Honestly, I promised myself I wouldn't say that, it just... It just fell out, it's too easy. To expand on that, the old man has a gun and also is dangerously good at robbing banks because he's just, he just too charming uh, and he just gets away with it. But the film also follows the cop that's trying to track him down and finally catch him once and for all. Uh, and if that sounds quite straightforward as a plot, it's because it kind of is. It kind of is quite a straightforward film. But I don't mean that in a negative way. This film was just, it was just a lovely watch. I had a great time with it. It's a pretty straightforward cops and robbers story that's elevated by great direction from David Lowry, but on top of that, a fantastic lead performance from Robert Redford, who is great. Obviously, I don't need to explain to you the abundance of Redford roles we've had in the past and how great he's been in past films. But he's really, really solid here. It, it's great seeing him have such a fun time with a role because he is just so unbelievably, unfathomably charming in this film. So smooth, even I was getting flustered. And Sissy Spacek is wonderful anyway, but she's great here alongside him. The two of them have got a fantastic chemistry in the film. And so their relationship was just a joy to watch unfold on screen. The two of them are incredibly charming and it bleeds through every scene. But alongside them you got Casey Affleck. He does this Casey Affleck thing of talking. Like, yeah, speak up Casey, you got something to say mate? Yeah, I'm a cop in there. Hey, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's got, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get him. It's gonna be great. Huh? I've had a tough day. I'm Casey. David Lowry's direction is really, really great. I love the fact that he still chooses the film on film, which is always a fun sentence to say. But it just adds so much to the feel of this film. It really does put you in the time period it's set in. It feels like you're not only watching a reproduction of the past, but you're watching something that actually could have been made in the 80s. It's got an incredibly effective retro kind of cops and robbers feel to it, which I thought worked really, really well. And I just think David Lowe's got a really good way of unfolding his stories. And I like the way that he blends in a lot of really great and satisfying humor here with some more poignant, uh, deeper thoughts in there. I mean, Ghost Story was pretty much as poignant as you can get. Um, so it's, it's not quite to that level, but I'm happy to say he's more kind of thoughtful touch does bleed into this as a couple of sequences in the film I kind of started tearing up a bit, but at the end of the day it is that kind of charming rich warm feel to this film um, Which really really works in its favor. It feels exactly like the sort of film you want to whack on on a rainy day However much I was enjoying it and getting sucked up in the charm of it all I do think it does peak at about 15 minutes too early this one Like it really does feel like it's starting to wrap up in an incredibly satisfying way And all of the different parts of the story are all coming to their head and all working so wonderfully together But then it kind of just keeps going and I don't want to say it derails completely because it doesn't I, I didn't dislike the end of this film by any means uh, I just do feel like it sort of loses a bit of steam once it gets past its peak. And I'm just not sure that the extra 15 minutes onto where I feel like this film would have been absolutely fine to end added that much to the experience. But overall, The Old Man and the Gun it was an incredibly charming experience. I had an absolute blast with it. I was laughing throughout. I really enjoyed the characters. I really enjoyed the story. I found it to be profound when it needed to be. Yeah, I just it's a really solid film. And a sort of film which I could easily go back to and rewatch again. I think it's got quite a good rewatchability factor on that side of things. It's not Lowry's best film. I don't think it quite tops Ghost Story for me, but it does exactly what it's trying to do and it's effective in all the places it needs to be. So yeah, I had a really great time with it. I can't recommend it enough. Especially if you are a big Robert Redford fan. I think you're gonna get a lot out of this. It does feel in many places just like it's a love letter to him. But what about you guys? Have you seen The Old Man and the Gun? Did you catch it at the festival? Have you seen it elsewhere? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below and how does it compare to the rest of David Lowry's films for you? I'd love to know, let me know down below. And as usual, if you do like this video and you wanna see me talk about more shit, please consider clicking subscribe. Really helps me out, but also means you won't miss any of the abundance of film festival reviews I've got coming out for you guys at the moment. So yeah, click the subscribe button and the bell button if you fancy doing that as well. And also, if you haven't already, check out the Stu Talks podcast. It's a podcast that I do usually every week, but at the moment, during the festival, we've got more episodes going out with some more in-depth thoughts on some of the films I've been talking about here on the channel. So if you want to see some more in-depth thoughts on any of the films, click through to that. Links are all in the description down below. I'm off to go and practice my smooth moves and charm in the knowledge that I'll probably never be as smooth as old Robert Redford. God damn it. God damn it, Robbie. Until next time, stay beautiful, motherfuckers.